My boyfriend tests my face blindness. A struggle for love and loyalty. Hi y'all, sorry for posting this. If it's not okay, I can delete it. I've been with my boyfriend for almost a year now. I love him dearly, and he loves me too I'm guessing, but there's one thing that's causing a lot of issues for us. I suffer from prosopagnosia, or face blindness, which means it's really hard for me to recognize people's faces. I usually rely on other characteristics to identify someone, like hairstyle, facial hair, marks, skin color, accessories, etc. But it's still really tough. This condition has caused me severe anxiety and other mental health struggles. I'm lucky to have wonderful people around me who are aware of my condition and try to help. They introduce themselves when we start talking, or something they know I associate with them, or whatever. Usually, my boyfriend does this too, but sometimes he likes to test me, and it's incredibly stressful. He once shaved off his beard, a few times he wore a completely different style of clothing, or changed his hairstyle all without warning me. In those moments, he won't tell me who he is or say someone else's name, just to see if I'll figure out it's him. He'll make jokes about switching with one of his friends to see if I'll stay loyal. I usually do realize it's him, but it causes me a lot of anxiety. We've had big fights on this. He says he's allowed to change his look, I'm not a cartoon character, I ask him to warn me. Don't get me wrong. He cares about me, but I don't think he gets how stressful it is. How do I make it clear? We have a LOT of great times together, there's just this bomb. I went to talk to him, showed him this, and told him he can't do it anymore. The conversation was... A lot. First he was angry I made this post, and he was angry I was taking it all so serious. Lots of apologies and so on. He again said he was just trying to make a tough situation more light. I said it's too much. He said I can't take a joke, and I need to let him be him. That he always tells me when he's been joking, and if he was really keen on hurting me he'd just do things and not tell me, so him telling proves he cares. That one got me the uncomfortable. At one point he said he just wanted to test if it was real, because I could just be using it as an excuse to do anything. I left after that cause we were just going in circles. There was a lot of me making an issue of one small thing. I'm exhausted. He's still blowing up my phone with love and apologies, but you guys made me realize a lot. Thanks, really. I'm trying to stay rational about it but it's hard, because I do care about him a lot. I'm gonna get a few hours of sleep. Thank you again. Relevant comments. Cheap Depth 2155. He is messing with your safety, does he not realize that? OOP. I don't think he realizes how confusing it all is. There's been a moment he did the opposite, acting all weirded out when I thanked him for a nice date, saying it wasn't him, and though I knew it was, I still started to doubt myself. He did say it was a joke soon after, but it caused such a panic. He hasn't done it again, but it took me a long time to feel comfortable again. Shit me kid says. Making someone feel unsafe is not a joke. Gaslighting someone you care about is not a joke. Tilda. Bouaval. Holy smikes, that's terrifying not to recognize a familiar face with a major change like that. That is like nightmare fuel. That your BF does it to you, multiple times on purpose, is scary. I don't know if there is a way you can explain it to him if he doesn't get it. It seems he enjoy your panic. Which is not a good thing in a partner. If this was my partner, I would get a tattoo or something. And I don't have any. OOP. My dad actually got a tattoo on his arm for me, which is a great comfort. I hadn't realized how messed up everything is until reading all these replies. Legitimate Debate 5014 Your boyfriend is basically abusing you in emotional situations. 
he thinks it's hilarious you struggle, and gets severe anxiety which isn't normal, nor does it mean he cares about you. This is a huge red flag. OOP. Abuse is a really big word, but I do agree it's not okay. I'm seeing him soon, we'll see how it goes. Hi y'all. Hope it's okay I post a little update. Things went batshit crazy. A lot has happened in the last days. I'm really grateful to you all, honestly. I wasn't aware about the real meaning of his pranks and what it said about him and our relationship. I went to talk to him the same evening I made that post, with the intention of making clear he can't pull all that anymore. The conversation escalated. We talked for hours into the night and every day since. There's been a lot of messages. He got angry about the Reddit post I made, I showed him. Angry at you guys. Angry that I couldn't take a joke and listen to strangers. Said things like he in the beginning didn't believe I actually suffered from it, and would use it as an excuse to cheat on him. But now he does believe. But due to bad breakups in the past he has a hard time trusting I won't use it as an excuse regardless. Said he was joking about it because he wanted to make a tough situation lighter, and that's just his sense of humor. That if I loved him, I'd accept that. When I made it clear I was done, it got even worse. He began apologizing a lot. Said he didn't realize it was such a big thing for me, again, didn't make any sense with all said before. In the same breath he said that he at least told me, to the people who thought he actually had planned to trick me by using one of his friends, I think y'all may be very right. To be honest, I was done. I do care about him a lot, I can't just shut that off, but it's never going to work. There's been many, many messages, slash calls, slash etc. He dropped some vague hints that sometimes he pulled pranks I wasn't aware of. I don't know if that is true, or he's just in a bad place right now. He also came to my place to apologize again. But I suspect he didn't expect I'd immediately recognize him, as he didn't apologize till I said his name. He's not evil, but just very messed up RN. I blocked him everywhere, told him not to show up anymore, and that a friend would give him his stuff. I'm going to delete this account soon, but... I wanted to thank you guys for helping me realize it. I genuinely don't think I would have. I'm heartbroken, but a bit relieved as well. Thanks for all the support and kindness. Relevant comments. Trippy hippie. I'm glad you broke up. Someone who loves you shouldn't ever do that to you. Just curious about your condition. Do you also have issues with recognizing voices as well as faces? I can only imagine how hard it must be to deal with. OOP. Actually, voices are one of the traits I go by to recognize someone. Voices, posture, tattoos, hairstyle, and so on. Thank you loads. A mighty asshole for not giving my ex the closure he's asking for because he messed with my face blindness. APRA 21, 2024. This might sound a bit silly, but that boy has really made me question my own sanity. Either way, I'm sorry if this is a bother. A few weeks ago, I broke up with my boyfriend. Thanks in part to Reddit, I realized that some of his behavior was absolutely unacceptable. When I tried to discuss it with him, the conversation escalated, leading to our breakup. I suffer from a severe case of face blindness, also known as prosopagnosia. This condition means I can't recognize or remember people's faces and have to rely on other characteristics, like voice, hairstyle, or posture, to identify someone. People around me are aware of this and usually introduce themselves when we meet, among other accommodations. It causes me a lot of anxiety. He used to test me, which added a lot of stress. He would change his appearance without warning to see if I could recognize him, calling these actions pranks. He considered himself a jokester. After we broke up, things were tough. He kept calling and messaging nonstop, with both apologies and non-apologies, 
until I blocked him. In moments of intense emotion, I said things like I never wanted to see him again. He would respond that he was hurt, that I wouldn't even know if it was him, and that I was lucky he wouldn't act on it. Made me feel icky. He's contacted me again yesterday through a new account saying he just wants one more face-to-face -face conversation, if only to give him his stuff that is still at my place and get some closure so we can both move on. I said my plan was to get a mutual friend to bring it over to him. He was hurt. He did seem a lot more calm than before and told me we were together for a year. He just wanted one conversation after I suddenly broke things off. That he had some time to process now, etc., and that he doesn't understand how he suddenly after a year of loving each other became so evil, I couldn't have one chat with him. But I don't feel good about it. My gut's telling me this will not be a good conversation. My worst fears are telling me he might play a trick to prove some point. WIBTA if I don't reply anymore slash just say no. Edit. I didn't expect all these replies. I hope it's okay I respond like this. Thank you all really. I think I knew already, but somehow started to doubt myself. The past weeks have been a lot. I really appreciate and needed these words. I'm ready for all of this to be over and done with. Also just a little thank you in general. Reddit's been a wonderful community and it's helped me a lot. Here's my previous post, for who's interested. And before. Hi. It's been a wee bit, and since I'm still getting messages about this, I thought I'd just give one big update for this. So more than a month ago, I broke up with my BF, because he kept pulling pranks involving my face blindness. I can't recognize faces and am dependent on other aspects to recognize someone and even then, it's still confusing. After that he'd been bugging me that he wanted to meet up, so we could get some closure. My gut was telling me not to, but I felt guilty. With you guys' advice, and my own gut feeling in mind, I decided not to go. I asked a friend Roger to go bring him his stuff and kept him blocked including blocking the new accounts he'd made. Roger came back with a letter from him to me. The letter in itself was via apologetic. He even said he was grateful for our time together and took full responsibility. It ended with him saying he'd respect it if I chose not to reply or message. Honestly, a lot of very respectful words. I still decided not to get in touch. Still trying to get over the breakup myself. But I did appreciate it till I found out he wasn't letting go like he said. Roger and some other mutual friends let me know he was asking them about me at L.O.T., if I had read the letter, if I was seeing someone else already, and so on. Couple of days ago he showed up at my place. He was clearly not sober and v upset. He just seemed so broken, so I stupidly let him in. For a while he was just being miserably nice while I got him water and stuff. But the more sober, the more angry he got. At that point I messaged basically everyone I knew to call. I didn't think he'd hurt me, but I didn't feel comfortable being alone with him, regardless. Among the many accusations of me, not even having the decency to reply, that I clearly never cared about him and that I was a horrendous person, he told me I cheated on him and didn't even know it, so how could I blame him for not trusting me? I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to stay calm but failed, and I know I should have not lost my cool. I screamed at him, asked him what he was talking about. Apparently on a night out with him and others, he asked his friend Mike, who knows of my face blindness and has similar characteristics as my ex, apart from a V-different voice and smell, to swap out with him and kissed me. And I didn't know. I don't know if he's lying or not, but knowing I was drinking and in a crowded, Loud room, I know it's a possibility. Especially since Mike tried to kiss me another time. Though then I immediately realized it was him and lost my shit at him. When I told my then BF, he was more angry than I had ever seen him. So Ike if that time was a plan as well or not, either way Mike is a disgusting human. I know it's just a kiss, but it did make me feel sick to my stomach 
just thinking about how they might have played me. I told him to get out, he didn't. Luckily, it didn't take long for some people to arrive and get him out. I'm endlessly grateful for the people I have around me. I'm staying at my parents' place now, took a break from work, and am looking into therapy. My mom and dad, who got a tattoo years ago, just so I would never doubt it's him, are treating me like a princess and reminding me of the kindness people deserve. Haven't looked into a restraining order, but might if it continues. Thanks to you all for helping me see what's right in this situation. Reddit has been a wonderful community I am very grateful for. I probably won't update anymore, as this is over and done with. But I'm glad I got to pour my heart out to y'all. I have face blindness, and I don't know if I'm losing my mind or my ex is messing with me June 30, 2024. We broke up nearly three months ago, it wasn't pretty. There were a lot of things not right between us. Among other things, he kept messing slash joking with the fact that I have a severe case of face blindness. I wasn't perfect in this relationship either BKW, not trying to make him the villain. Usually I go by voice, obvious traits and so on. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of wonderful people around me who'll introduce themselves once we start talking, warn me if they change their looks or even get slash wear something that'll help me, like my dad who got a tattoo, just for me, but it's still hard and gives me so much anxiety. So maybe I am imagining it all. I stayed with my parents and we cousins for a while after the breakup, but since I'm home, I feel like he's still around. The first time I went to a club with a friend and her boyfriend, I started dancing with a guy and went outside with him to get some air. The moment we stepped outside and I heard his voice, I knew it was him. I was so certain. I freaked out, went back inside, and left with my friend. I messaged him later, and he vehemently denied it, telling me he wasn't even near there. He suggested we meet up and talk if I wanted. My friend says she's not sure. She was off with her boyfriend and didn't see him. So maybe I am wrong. My gut says it was him, but I can't trust my brain with these things. There have been more incidents like this since. If I go out, sometimes I just feel like he's there. Like I'll see a guy focused on me and know it's him, but he'll deny it. Or someone will come to my job and I'll recognize the voice, but he responds so confused and I'll feel like a crazy person making a scene, so I just quietly give him what he needs. I'll go to the grocery store and a guy will suddenly be next to me. He won't even say anything to me but the smell or traits tell me it's him. But then later, he denies it all. It's not every day or something. Once a week, maybe not even that. But it's enough to make me feel so on edge. The thing is, I could be wrong. Maybe it was never him. I don't go out a lot anymore unless I'm with someone. I keep my phone in my hand in hopes of snapping a picture to show to my friends. Looking into how to get a camera. I don't know what else to do, really. I'm afraid if I talk to others about it, they'll simply dismiss it. At the same time, he's still messaging me, just as kindly as when we first started dating. He says he's worried about me that he wants to help. And I just feel like I'm going crazy. Maybe I am. Has anyone ever messed with your prosopagnosia before? What did you do? I have a quite severe case of face blindness, but have my own ways to get around, like all of us. But still I can never be completely sure who's in front of me until they confirm it, I'm sure you know the feeling. Now I have had wonderful people in my life who make it so much easier for me, but have you had people who don't do that? My previous BF messed with me sometimes and I sometimes worry he might still be but it's hard to be sure when I can't trust what I see. Sometimes I'm so sure it's him, but he'll deny it and I can never convince myself to be 100% certain of what I saw. Do you have any things you did to deal with people who messed with you? Or didn't take you prosopagnosia serious? <laughs>